Hi everyone, so on the big problem solving question for the last lesson in the sequences and series pack. So let's have a look. We're given some information. Oh, can I change that, please? It's been it should have been changed in the pack that you've got. It shouldn't say 500. It should say 3, 5, 6. If it doesn't, change it to 3, 5, 6. Right then. So I've got this information. So right from the off, I know I can create equations. Now I need to find U3. To do U3 though, I need P and Q. So I'm going to create the equations to see if I can find P and Q. And then that will give me U3. So that's my plan. So let's write down what we've got then. So I know that uh, U2 will be P lots of U1 plus Q. So that information gives me 500 is 600P plus Q. So that's one equation we've got. So then I know that u3 is p lots of u2 plus q. I don't know u3, but I do know u2. So I know that u3 is 500p plus q. And then I know that u4 is p lots of u3 plus q. I don't know u3, but I do know u4. So I've got three different equations here. And what I want to do, I want to get an equation just in terms of P or Q to find P or Q if I can keep on going. Now it's interesting though because this is two possible values. So that two possible values implies to me that we're going to have a quadratic at some point because that will give us our two numbers. Right, so first things, let's get rid of U3. So I'm going to get rid of the U3, and that's 500p plus Q. You have to watch me make sure I get this right. Plus Q. So 3, 5, 6 is 500p squared plus pq plus q. So I've got something which is quadratic in there, haven't I? I'm getting something quadratic. So I know I'm aiming the right way. So now then, let's get rid of q. I could have done this the other way and rearranged it to get rid of p. It'll give me the same, give me the right answers out of it. F squared doesn't work, f squared. Right, so how can I get rid of Q? So I can get rid of Q by rearranging this one. So 500 minus 600P is Q. Right, so. So what was it? 500 minus 600P. So let's expand some brackets. I've got 3, 5, 6 is 500p squared plus 500p minus 600p squared plus 500 minus 600p. So let's just tidy the right hand side and then we'll move it over. So I've got 500p squared minus 600p squared. So I've got minus 100p squared. I've got 500p minus 600p, so that's a minus 100p. And then I've got a plus 500. So if I take it all onto the left hand side, I've got 100p squared plus 100p minus 144 is equal to zero. There. So that's going to give me two p values and put it into column. 
it gives me p is minus 9 over 5, or p is 4 fifths. So from this now, because I've got p, I'm going to find q. And I'm going to use, what's my equation that makes p and q? Uh, there it is, 500 minus 600p is q. So let's have a look then. So let's do the 9 over 5 one. So q would be 500 minus 600 lots of 9 over 5, or q Let's make sure I write these down the right way around. I got that one down as 1580. Um, I got that one down as 20. So my, my recursive formulas, this one is u m plus 1 is p, which was minus 9 over 5, lots of u m plus 1580. And this one is u m plus 1 is 4 fifths of un plus 20. The one I've just written down looks more like the examples we've done, so it's likely that's going to give us the right answer, isn't it? Right, so let's have a look then now. So my u3, uh, knowing that u2 is, is 500, so my u3 will be minus 9 over 5, Lots of 500 plus 1580. So that U3 value is going to be minus 880. Whereas this one, my U3 value, is going to be 420 there. So that's part A done. That's my two values for U3 done. In seven minutes. It says when n is decreasing, find L. And I'm running out of time, so you've got to be careful with this one. So if you think about the sequence, the sequence was um, 600, 500, something, and then it was uh, 356, wasn't it? 356. So for it to be decreasing, the only way it can be decreasing. As if it's the 420 in there, as a minus what minus 880 is stuck in that. Right then, so that must mean that I am using this formula. So for the limit bit, I'm using that the formula L is 4 fifths L plus 20. So if I take the 4 fifths L away, I've got 1 fifth of L is 20, so L is 100 there. So that's giving me that part of it. So it's quite a lot, it's quite involved in it, quite a lot of algebra, quite messy, but also quite nice because we're all giving it algebra. Right, so look at the next bit then. Right, so and I'm, I'm on nearly 9 minutes, I need to stop it. This lesson, there's a lot in this lesson, sorry. 